most of my interests at the moment, partly I'm interested in just how do you write programs more effectively. And so I'm, I spend a lot of time just playing with languages and tools, particularly for web-based development. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's partly because it also fits into the course. Um, I tend to spend summers at Google, and so I work on projects there, sometimes which have that property. Um, sometimes they're no more than simple exploratory data analysis. That tends to uh, be mostly happen in the, s in the summer. Mm -hmm. And in the academic year, I mostly tend to get wrapped up in teaching. It, it, it becomes a full-time job for that. The other thing, I don't, I, you can't call it research, I think, but I spend a lot of time trying to talk about non-technical material for very non-technical, sorry, technical material for very non-technical people. And so I spent a sabbatical year, 2010-2011, uh, uh, academic year at Harvard writing a book for the course I teach in the fall for non-technical students, a book called D is for Digital. Yeah, I, uh, my, I luckily <laughs> have copy. Armen, thank you. <laughs> uh, and so that, that's a, a very different uh, flavor of activity, but it's, it's been great fun because the course that I teach related to it is so much fun to teach. Yeah, and you there is a course over the course uh, computer science uh, one hundred nine uh, one hundred nine right uh, computers in our world, which was I guess kind of inspired you to to write this book. Yes, uh, yeah, the course is definitely the inspiration for it. I've been teaching that course since I got here every fall, basically, and uh, the audience for that class is people who are not technical. Their interests tend to be in things like history or English or economics, but I think it's important that they should know something about how technology works because it affects their lives enormously. The fact that we can do something like this video and post it on the web is something that was not possible 10 years ago even. And it very much changes the way that one thinks about the world. Mm -hmm. And so what I would like is the students in that class who are not technical but are st certainly still going to be in positions of influence or authority or whatever, that they should actually understand something about uh, the technology that we're all living with all the time. Mm -hmm. And the more they know, the better. So that's the justification for both the course and for writing the book. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's it's. A